Now you don't have to look too far to learn about a city's history. A lot can be learned simply taking a walking tour through areas like the Civic Center Park. That's what our Steve Summerall did in Cathedral City. He brings us a closer look in tonight's edition of our Desert Pass. When it comes down to honoring the history of a city, no place does it better than the Cathedral City Civic Center. There seems to be a great deal of significance behind every statue, as well as the names on all the street signs. Today, we're going to closely examine all those things and see if we can't reach a greater understanding of our desert past. First up, George Montgomery Trail. When he crosses 2nd Street, he knows I'll be there, waiting for him. Can't be any other way. George Montgomery was an actor who was known for starring in B-movie westerns, which were quite popular during the 30s and 40s. In 1952, Montgomery and his then wife, Dinah Shore, became one of the first celebrity couples to call the Coachella Valley home. They lived in the movie colony and were members of the Palm Springs Racquet Club. Montgomery was an accomplished artist of Western-themed bronze sculptures. They were quite similar to the statue of Montgomery, which stands tall in the Civic Center. Although he and Dinah Shore divorced in 1962, George Montgomery would continue to call the desert home up until his death in December of 2000. George Montgomery Trail intersects with Avenida Lalo Guerrero, named for Eduardo Lalo Guerrero, the father of Chicano music. Lalo Guerrero grew up in Tucson, Arizona. As a child, his mother gifted him a guitar and encouraged him to embrace the spirit of being Chicano. Regarding his music, Guerrero often said that he only wrote about what he saw. Doing just that, Lalo Guerrero became the musical historian of his beloved Chicano culture. In 1992, American labor leader and civil rights activist Cesar Chavez said of Guerrero, Lalo has chronicled the events of the Hispanic in this country a lot better than anyone. Lalo Guerrero lived with his wife in Cathedral City from 1977 up until his death in 2005. Buddy Rogers Avenue is named for Charles Buddy Rogers, who, during his prime, was publicized as America's boyfriend. As a musician, he was skilled on many instruments, especially the trombone. As an actor, he was best known for his appearance opposite Clara Bow in Wings, the first film to be honored with the Academy Award for Best Picture in 1927. Rogers called the Coachella Valley home up until his death in 1999. <laughs> Buddy Rogers may have been America's boyfriend, but he only had eyes for the girl known as America's sweetheart, Mary Pickford. It's easy to understand why there would be a movie theater named after her. As one of the most popular actresses during the silent movie era, she was dubbed Queen of the Movies and was a significant figure in the development of film acting. Now, if you're a frequent visitor to this park, I'm sure you're aware of the Fountain of Life, but you may not be aware of the act of hospitality that brought it here. The granite that was used to construct this fountain was gifted by Cathedral City's sister city, Tequila Jalisco, in Mexico. The fountain was named the Mayor Gregory S. Pettis Fountain of Life, after the man who was instrumental in forming a relationship with the sister city. His uh, thinking was uh, from his heart, his, his passion, whether it was a uh, sanctuary city, was it plastic straws, whether it's a nude bike Christ, he was always the forefront uh, of ideas in Cathedral City. The last street sign on our tour does not share its name with a celebrity. It is Officer David Vasquez Road, named for Cathedral City Police Department's own Officer David Vasquez. End of watch, October 28, 1988. Officer Vasquez served with the department since it was formed in June of 1984. Tragically, he was struck and killed by a moving vehicle while assisting at the scene of a traffic accident. Officer David Vasquez was only 30 years old. It didn't matter if he was in uniform or not, that's what he did. That's what he loved to do is to help, help the community, help the people. For our Desert Pass, this is Steve Summerall.